a game as obscure as Tron 2 being played at the last LAN. Uh, Call of Duty 4, I think, got a grand total of about an hour of game time because people just wanted to move on to other stuff. So, generally, if you can find interest in your game there, which you generally will, people have weird tastes. I, I'm, I'm Quake 1. So, you'll find, you'll, find, you'll find people who want to play your game. And if not, you can always grab the disc and beat them over the head until they install it. Got another question, Mike? Come on, run. I'm not, I am not running for you. Run, fat boy, run. <laughs> no, I don't mean... We've yeah, known, e we've known each other for almost 20 years now. It's okay. Do you want to um, right. With Lance, how much does it really cost? I know you said it was for free, but not everybody's going to be prepared to bring a computer or an Xbox. Well, that's the thing. Generally with LANs, you're generally bringing your own computer. That's the main point of it. It's how it's been since they were big in, what, the 80s it started? Uh, it's generally been a bring-your-own-computer thing. And it, it is a pain, but the payoff's worth it, I've always thought. Um, as for how much it costs to get hauls in that, ballpark figures we use is looking at a $300 bond with a $250 hire, and you get the bond back at the end. Oh, yeah. And in that, in that case, you just bump the, in, uh, the intake prices up. Like, uh, when we had to pay for a haul, we were charging 25 to get in, and that was covering it with plenty left over. And how do you get the community behind your back? Get people around. Get them excited. Do like we're doing. Get here. Get excited. You've got to be... If you're excited, they're excited. Are you guys excited? Because I'm excited. Yeah! 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 See, we've got, we've got a land community here already. Having trouble walking down there? <laughs> Do you like set up an FTP server so people can grab movies and music and stuff? Off? No. Uh, that's illegal. Do you mind lending the uh, Monash University a uh, router so they can get those goddamn computers going finally? Guess what? Already been asked that. And the answer depending on how much of a scream we get, is yes. Well, come on! Yeah. Quake! <laughs> what, what, what's the most insanely weird or crazy game you've had on a LAN? Would you believe Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, which doesn't actually have any multiplayer in it by standard? <laughs> it's, quite, it's quite good fun. We, ha we had good fun. We had all the admins. We stood up on the top. Of the, uh, of, is it Mount Chillard, Mike? Yep. And we're standing there with mini guns and we've got all these guys running up at us with cricket bats trying to get to the flag. Um, what's your security like? Like, do you have policies on people aren't allowed to bring certain stuff if they're under the age of 15, they can't play MA games? And how do you deal with them? We cater to under 15s. Uh, oh, sorry, no. We cater to uh, under 18s in the form that we don't allow alcohol. We have an age cut off at 15, purely because, as you said, the MA15 games, a uh, whole mun bunch of legal mumbo-jumbo, and it's just not worth all the hassle of that. Um, yeah, that's really all how I can answer that question. Got anyone else? Stand up. Are there uh, any specific channels you go through to try and get these halls, like when you're trying to organise, do you try and go through councils or are there like hiring companies you can go to? Because uh, otherwise it's, uh, I've found it hard to try and find a big enough hall that's available for hire, like some of them want in big insurance, uh, guarantees and all the rest of it. What do, you, what do you do to seek out these venues? Uh in all honesty, we shop around, we go through everything. We go through companies which cater to finding things. We go... Okay, we want to have a land in, say, Hallam. So we'll go to the Hallam Council's website. Who are they? I can't remember who they're with. But we go there and they'll generally have a list of all the community halls they have and how much it is. Um, all the people you know, if you know people who are, at, who are in Scouts, you can generally, they're generally more than happy to give out halls um, and things like that. So it's a case of asking around and building up your contacts and networking. And
And do you ever try and, like, what, what's your status with getting internet connections, like, from there? Do you try and set up wireless in the halls you go to, or do you just run it with None landlines? Of the la we've only ever run one land with an internet connection, and we'll never do that again, because it was slow and everyone loaded up World of Warcraft. <laughs> <laughs> who, who here thinks World of Warcraft at a land party is a bit silly? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Unless you all went and PvP'd or did a raid or something, but... Yeah. You're getting too complex for me, that just went whoosh. Any other, Mike, we've got a hand up there. Any other questions that people have got? Hey, look, we've even got another one back up here in the middle. More walking for you. Mm, joyful. <laughs> uh, so we've got two hands for one person up as well. Hi. What's the, what's the software that you use for the website list of who can come? Uh, this one here. He's going to kill me for showing you guys this. Uh, because he hates it, but <laughs> it is Craig Madison's content management system that you can't buy or get anywhere. It's something. It's a friend of ours who runs it with us. He programmed it himself. Would you recommend anything else? Uh, we've used some free software in the past from I think it was from a company called Voodoo. It's a long time ago now, mate. Um, just do a search in Google for like free event software. Or even free land tournament software is what we searched for once before. And it's given us a whole registration system and that. You need people to go to your site and log in. If, if that's a bit too hard, then uh, learn some PHP and make a basic website like you saw on DLC. Okay. Um, do you offer it for land for over 18 as well? Uh, that there was the how we helped out DLC. We actually joined with them, and they're most definitely an over 18 uh, land. I'll let you know now. Don't drink, people. But the guy who used to run it was drunk by 9 a.m. the morning of the land. I believe we got one more, and that's it. Only one more. No one else wants anything more. Oh, we're almost up for time. In any case. Hey, um, what's your most played game at the lands? Uh, duh, 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 duh. What do you reckon? Can you just hand the microphone back for a second? What do you think it is, Mike? From the early ones was definitely uh, Quake Free. Yeah, I'd say the earliest ones would be Quake. The new one would be COD, maybe. Maybe, yeah. Um, who here has heard of Painkiller? Yes. Paint. Does no one hear what hero punctuation? Okay, you've all heard of Painkiller then, don't lie. Uh, we had Painkiller as the big game for two lands. We've had, as you, I've said, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Uh, the last, latest land we had was Tron 2. No, I'd uh, say COD. Call of Duty 4. Uh, definitely not Armour. No, Armour hasn't been played once yet. Well, this next first land two, we'll have it. First two lands we ran was Counter-Strike. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so no more questions from people? I believe that's it. No, we've got one in the corner. One in the corner, okay. Dude. Our friend from Patterson Lake. Oh, joy. Yeah, just stand up for us, mate. Go stand up, mate. Do you still play Unreal Tournament for us cool kids? Yeah. Unreal Tournament? <laughs> well, can I just do a quick test? I want the yes for Unreal Tournament. Yeah! Yeah. Can I have the yes for Quake? Yeah! yeah. Okay, Unreal Tournament wins. Yeah, we do still play it, mate. Uh, 2004? Uh, probably oh not. Nah, nah, we wouldn't play that one. Okay, unless we got anyone else who has any more questions. Uh, that's where Green Tube. Spread, spread. The gaming love. Start up your own land. It's not hard. Have fun, guys. Make great we'll, have some fun with We'll lands. help come and kick your asses there. <laughs> now, who do we hand it over to? Uh, Andrew? You can do it, yeah. No, no, I'm going to just say one thing. Actually, you do that bit. I just want to show. Okay. 
So we have a few different things which are about to happen now. Um, we've got a couple of tournaments which are going to go on. Um, the IAH guys have set up uh, FIFA Online 2 in the computer lab. So we've got the first 64 players uh, go over there and they have prizes and everything. Um, Mark? Sorry. Mark's running um, a couple of tournaments over in the Rotunda. Okay, they don't, they don't realise what they're doing. Okay, what's happening is Mark is going to do a Halo 3 uh, tournament. Basically, 